today we're going to go over the derivatives of trigonometric functions. And there are six of them that you need to know. Let's start with the first one. The derivative of sine x is cosine x. And the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Now, look for a pattern as I write these uh, trigonometric functions. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. And the derivative of cotangent, the cofunction of tangent, is cosecant squared, but with a negative sign. The derivative of secant, that's equal to secant x tangent x. And the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. So notice that the derivative for every cofunction, particularly those that start with a c, they all have a negative sign. And notice that the similarity between tan and cotan. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. The derivative of cotan is negative cosecant squared. And secant and cosecant are similar. The derivative of secant is secant tan. And the derivative of cosecant, negative cosecant cotangent. So there's some similarities here. If you know the left side, you can easily figure out what's on the right side of the screen. But now let's go ahead and work on some examples. So let's find the derivative of this expression. 5 sine x minus 4 tangent x. So distributing this symbol, it's going to be 5 times the derivative of sine x minus 4 times the derivative of tangent x. Now we know that the derivative of sine is positive cosine, and the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So the answer is 5 cosine x minus 4 secant squared x. Now let's work on another similar example. Let's say if we want to find the derivative of 8 secant x minus 5 cosine x. So based on the last example, go ahead and try this one. So this is equal to 8 times the derivative of secant x minus 5 times the derivative of cosine x. Now the derivative of secant, that's going to be secant tangent. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So the final answer is going to be 8 secant x tangent x plus 5 sine x. Now let's work on one more example. Let's try the derivative of 2 cotangent x minus 7 cosecant x. So this is going to be 2 times the derivative of cotangent x, and then minus 7 times the derivative of cosecant x. Now what is the derivative of cotangent x? Now think about the derivative of tangent. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. So the derivative of cotangent is going to be cosecant squared. But because we have a c, it's going to be a negative sign in front. So it's going to be negative cosecant squared x. The derivative of cosecant, well, we know that the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So the derivative of cosecant will be negative cosecant cotangent. So you really need to know the derivative of sine, tangent, and secant. If you know those three, you can figure out the other three. So the final answer is going to be negative 2 cosecant squared plus 7 cosecant x cotangent x. If you want to, you can take out the GCF, which is cosecant x.
but I'm going to leave the answer like this.